Hi, my name is Dr. Matthew Carpenter. I'm here today to talk to you about a very important concept in our office um, as it pertains to overall health and that's root canal therapy. Um, I'd like to help inform you a little bit about what a root canal is, why root canals are performed, and then you know according to our diagram be able to help explain to you why they um, present such challenges for overall health. I'm going to draw a picture of a molar but really the process is the exact same for any tooth. I'm just kind of drawing a multi-rooted tooth here. And within a tooth, and this is a, a roller, a molar that has three roots, we have different layers of our tooth. But basically housed inside of each of the roots of our tooth and up into the part of the tooth that we chew with, we have nervous tissue. And this nervous tissue is very, very, very important. It's like a life force or a vitality to our teeth. And, and the thing that I like to talk to my patients about to help them understand is that teeth are like organ systems. They receive a blood supply. They uh, need certain types of materials in order to be healthy and they excrete toxins just like we do. So a root canal procedure is basically when this nervous part of the tooth is accessed typically from the top and all this nerve tissue is cleaned out and filed out and then what's placed back in the space that the nerve used to reside is a um, it's like a resin it's a called gutta percha it's basically supposed to be an inert material which we know is actually toxic for people but root canal therapy um, has become more and more popular and has been used more and more because of our medical culture's lack of a desire around preventing treatment everybody lives and and succeeds off of doing treatment so there hasn't been a big push to try to avoid root canal therapy but you can imagine if you have a nerve that sits inside a tooth like this every time that we have a filling or every time that that filling is replaced and gets a little bit bigger we start to get closer to the nerve of the tooth the nerve of the tooth is normally a sterile place there's not a bacteria in it it's 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 a wonderful place to be it's got a blood supply if any part of the nerve is touched by a dental procedure or bacteria from decay is able to move inside a tooth, it sets off a response and a reaction that will end up killing the nerve of the tooth. Uh, people that have had really bad experiences in the dental office have typically had an experience with a dying nerve, but um, I've had a lot of people report, women report it's the worst pain that they've ever had, worse than childbirth, worse than anything. So a root canal on the surface can seem like a very nice and thoughtful procedure to, in order to help someone save a tooth but get out of pain. When a root canal is performed and this top is accessed and all this is now replaced, I'm going to use a different color here. So this orange represents the gutta percha, and it actually is orange, but it represents the material that's placed in there after the root canal is done. The problem with root canals, and a lot of times after a root canal, even when they're perfectly done, people don't have any symptoms and everybody thinks it's great. The problem is, is that running laterally in the roots of all of our teeth, and they estimate that there's about three to four miles of these little tubules per tooth. Anaerobic and aerobic bacteria live and reside in these tubules. When a root canal procedure is done, we basically slam the door right here on any of our body's natural healing abilities. We normally have arteries and veins and structures that bring a blood supply and immune function into our teeth. When a root canal is done, all those um, doorways in and out of the tooth are completely sealed. It can seem like kind of a good thing, except for in our bloodstream is where our immune system lives. It's where our body's ability to fight infection lives. So when you have a root canal done, you end up with many, many, many different types of bacteria that are lodged within these tubules. Now within these tubules is organic dentin matter. It's a digestible food source to bacteria. 
God designed these bacteria to go in and clean up dead things, and that's what they do. They come in here, and they eat the tooth structure, and they produce toxins. One of the scariest things, and um, I've learned this particularly through doing a lot of dental DNA testing with Dr. Huggins and finding out what types of bacteria actually live in these root canals. You'd be astounded to see that uh, leprosy and botulism toxins, and a lot of times um, bacteria a thousand times more toxic than botulism reside in the roots of our teeth that are in our head. It's our uh, prerogative at Transcendental Health that root canal therapy represents a source of anaerobic infection for a patient. And we don't believe that a person can be at their highest level of health while having a chronic anaerobic infection in their bodies. So our recommendation is to have the teeth extracted.